Hello Zickers, welcome back. And if you are an eBay seller, you know that maintaining a healthy store is essential to keep your business running smoothly, right? And while block buyers may sound rare and even a bit extreme and dramatic, can be a useful tool when you notice suspicious or disruptive behavior. So in today's video, that's exactly what we're gonna talk about, okay? I'm going to walk you through on how to block specific buyers on eBay and explain why and when you might want to block buyers and even show you how to block certain types of buyers based on the criteria you set. It's pretty interesting and something that is not really talked about, so I am very happy to share with you because this will help you prevent issues before they start and protect your store from bad buyers and ensure a smoother selling experience. So if you have a buyer who's buying from you again and again and again, but causes issues or let's say that if you are selling high ticket items and want to prevent new ebay buyers from making purchases to avoid scams this video is for you again so let's cover everything everything and ensure that by the end of this video you will know exactly how to block buyers and protect your account better than before without any more waiting let's block them <laughs> Okay, let's just dive in. You know, a lot of people ask me, why would you want to block a buyer? Well, there are some stalkers out there. <laughs> but I'm kidding, but seriously, sometimes you might notice irregular activity from a buyer. Maybe they're just constantly leaving negative feedback without any legit reason. Maybe they're making purchases, like multiple purchases and never paying for it, or even returning items all the time, just claiming they are defective when they're in perfectly fine when when they're in perfect shape and in some cases buyers may misuse the return policy by sending back different or damaged items and you know or or they could even be contacting you excessively with unreasonable demands and these types of behaviors can lead to financial losses negative seller ratings and a lot of unnecessary stress so blocking that buyer can help you prevent prevent future issues, saving you time, protecting your store's reputation, and allowing you to focus on genuine, reliable customers, okay, and making your business grow. Now, let me show you how to block a specific buyer. Let's jump here into my screen. All right, so I'm already signed in, but if you're not, please sign in and go to my eBay, and then click on summary. And once you're here, you go to account right here. And then on the right side, you go permissions, click on permissions. And once you are on the left, you know, go down right here and click on selling, then select selling preferences. And once inside, keep going down until you find the your buyers. And once you find your buyers column on the left, and check that we have two options to block a buyer. Since we're talking about blocking a specific buyer, let's just do that first. So we're going to click edit in blocked buyer list right here. And if you wish to go directly to this page, you can click on this link here. You know what? I'm going to make it available in the video description below. So it's faster for you, easier for you. And uh, as you can see in this list, I have no blocked buyers yet, but we are allowed by eBay to add up to 5,000 individual buyers to this list. So I'm just going to add two random names. Let's just say like bad buyer and uh, good buyer okay i'm not being creative but just for the example and also if you want to add multiple buyers to the list you just need to separate with a comma okay just make sure that you split like this okay and then you press submit and if you click on submit and this green bar pops up then you have successfully blocked these buyers individually. And that's it. From now on, those buyers won't be able to make purchases from your store and you will have peace of mind knowing they can't cause any more trouble. Bye bye, bad buyers. 
<laughs> All right, guys. Look, if you're liking this video so far, you know, give a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Make sure that you share this video with other sellers who might need this information. Trust me, these small steps can make a big, big, big difference in the long run. And if you want to boost the quality of your eBay dropshipping products, you can do it by subscribing to Zik Analytics for just $1 for the first week. So what are you waiting for? Let's do that. Now let's block some more buyers because we're in the blocking mode here. Blocking individual buyers is certainly useful, but eBay also provides an even more powerful tool, which is setting up buyer requirements based on a specific criteria. This allows you to automatically filter out buyers who may cause problems without having to monitor every transaction manually. For instance, you can set restrictions that prevent buyers with problematic behavior from purchasing in your store. And this can be especially useful if you encountered unreliable customers before. And by applying these filters, you ensure that only buyers who meet your standards can make a purchase which helps reduce the chances of complications such as disputes or incomplete transactions and so on. Additionally, these filters help protect your store from buyers who have shown a pattern of not following through you know, with their commitments. With these settings in place, you save yourself the hassle of dealing with delays and other avoidable issues, making your selling experience smoother and more efficient. And this system is particularly helpful for sellers with high sales volumes as it automates the process of vetting potential buyers and helps you maintain a smooth and more efficient business. Now, let me show you how that works. We're now going back to the Your Buyers column right here. But now we're gonna click on Edit on Managing Who Can Buy From You right here. And once we're inside, all these options right here appear to us. We can sort buyers by unpaid buyer strikes, for example. Buyers which the address is from countries that you don't ship to, or by feedback score. You can also have the buyer's rules. And here is where you can demand that your buyer provides a valid payment method to complete the purchase or bid or to complete an offer. If you don't want your blocked buyers to contact you, you also have the option right here to select that. And you can also access your block list from here. And this is nice in case you want to just uh, go to one place and edit everything from here. You can also do it, so that's very good. For the purpose of this video, I show you both ways to get them individually. Once you selected your criteria the way you want, you just click submit and eBay will automatically apply those filters for you. Really, like this is an excellent way to keep your store running smoothly without having to deal with buyers, you know, who may not follow through these purchases or have a history of being problematic. And there you have it, blocking buyers on eBay. Easy peasy, you know? Whether individually or based on criteria, it's, it's really, you can block them and I think it's a powerful tool to protect your store and keeping your business running smoothly. While it's not something you will need to do every day, knowing how to take control when necessary can save you from unnecessary headaches and potential losses, really. So by what I'm trying to say is that by staying proactive and understanding these tools, you ensure that uh, your selling experience remains as stress-free and profitable as possible. So, you know, just take charge of your store's future and remember that a well-protected business is a successful one. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Keep moving forward and see you next time.